Headed into town is Laura for her second date with wide boy Fraser at an oyster bar. Or as he might call it, an oi oyster bar. I mean, we got on so well the first time. Tu sei bellissima. C'è belli occhi. I look like a Yorkie. You're beautiful and you got nice eyes. Ah. Oh. I'm hoping we get on even better. Like, there's a lot to live up to. There's actually quite a lot of pressure, if you think about it. So, yeah, but I'm nervous, though. Fabulous. I think Fraser's nervous. She might have stood him up. Oh, hello. Hi. Jill, don't you look glamorous? I know, I'm I'm well underdressed. No, I feel like I'm overdressed. Overdressed? I've got pants bigger than that top. Do us a spin. Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) My boobs will bob out. One sneeze and they're out. (laughs) How are you? You all right? Oh my God, it nearly fell out. (laughs) Don't look. look. Definitely already has. Very glamorous. Off to a film festival after this. Sorry, yeah, I should probably keep eye (laughs) level, yeah. I'm really happy to see Fraser again. He's been away in Italy and I honestly forgot just how fit he is. (laughs) You look cute. You look brown. Thank you very much. A week in Tuscany will do that for you. Have you missed me? Have you... Um, have you missed me? Quite a lot. Yeah, I was actually sitting on the beach, toes out, <laughs> having a wine. I thought, you know what? You wish I was there. Yeah, exactly. In that. my bikini. Exactly. In my well, t- well <laughs> it's not I don't far think off. I need much imagination. <laughs> oh my God, is it that bad? No, I like it. I, I do. Yeah, I bet you do. I'm not against it. Someone else with a fair bit of front, most of it on display, is Pete Wicks, who's thrown a doily on ready for back-to-back dates. The agent said they'd go hard on him. Oh, well, this will be a nightmare for the poor. So today I am dating two women one after another, um, which sounds delightful. Not the first time. So I've got Kerry first on the second date. And then I am seeing Leanne, who I met at the blind date. However will the poor geezer cope? Basically, the more dates you go on, the higher probability you've got of it being success. That's kind of the way I see it. Throw enough shit. So ain't a stick. So I'm gonna throw an awful lot of shit. I'm not sure that's what the girls have signed up for. Back at the oyster bar, Laura's trying to keep her glitter balls under wraps and Fraser's eyes in their sockets. You're really sitting far away. Sorry, darling, I'll get this over. Are you like... How close do you want me? Is this no. all right or not? Or is this a bit much? I was thinking maybe after two or three wines I'd get these guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you do smell nice, though. Thank you very much. Do I Thank smell you... nice? Are you really getting smell anything? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're just kidding. What a cheeky <laughs> chancer. I can't believe Fraser just planned you to sneaky kiss on my neck. To be honest, I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, you. my God, Fraser. Sorry. What would be your perfect day other than this. oysters? Um, I would say this, but obviously actually taking it away from this. So obviously have this, have a bit of food, drinks, and then going out afterwards. That was a close one. I think she got away with it. I was listening. <laughs> no, I feel like we should walk our dogs, maybe. Ooh, yeah. Well, how is he anyway? He's had another little look there. He's fine, his anal gland bursts. Oh my Christ, that'll kill his boner. Yeah, but I think that's normal, no? It's like they're meant to express it at the best. Yeah, don't you know anything about dogs' asses? But it got infected. <laughs> Jesus. If it's got infected, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, bless and it. And to the point where it's exploded. Ah, oh, yes, exploding anal glands. Perfect date chat. It was like blood all over my bed. OK, I'm out. I thought he'd vomit. Ah. Well, this is just yeah. life, Fraser, OK? Dogs Well, if you blew are... up on me, I'd run out the door. Well, this date's taking a turn. Hello, my love. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? I'm good, how are you? You smell nice. Thank you very much. You look fabulous. What can I say? Only the best. Well, thanks for coming on another date. There's no doubt about it, Kerry is a tidy bit of kit. I like her style, we get on well. I just need to find out if there's a sexual connection. You're looking very summery today. It's a bit see through, I'll keep having a little nip slip. I'm not going to lie, I had that that incident this morning. You had a little nip slip? No, because the dress is a bit see through. Blatant look. You won't see anything. I wasn't. I've put I things there, but like, no, it was it's proper see through, and I was a bit. Do we want to show that? Is the second date enough to show it? No, it's not well, for I mean, me. I don't know. We usually wait at least till the sixth. So, sixth or seventh is when the see through stuff happens. That's when the see through stuff happens. Got ya. All right, see-through. so what are we on to? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, it depends. How long are you done it for? Oh, mini Pete's on the rise. 
Please. Stop, please. Can you stop doing that? Never done you're, you're, no, you are. You're making it very difficult. <clears throat> you're making this very hard. A mini pizza at full mast. This is our spicy first cheese croquette. Got some big balls bag. Yeah. <laughs> the Mediterranean flatbread. Thank you so much. No worries. We well, said you were told to kind of rein it in, but I think that kind of tension is a good tension. Do you know what it is? It's just that I am um, quite a flirty person anyway. Yeah, and I'm trying not to do that. Why though? <laughs> You're hiding you. I've probably spent too long confusing lust with maybe love and actually, you know, if I stopped doing all that kind of shit, then actually I would probably get to know someone better. Because I think what lust turns into obsession mm -hmm. that confuses, you get confused with that being love and actually in hindsight, it's not. Does that make sense? No, it so makes I need to change it. Sense. Listen, if I don't change my approach to, to the way I do things, then I always end up with the same result. Check you, wise. Impressive, Pete. Thinking with the brain instead of the... And he wasn't even put off by having to wait six dates to see her nips. No such wait is on the cards for Laura's date, Fraser, who stands to benefit from a wardrobe malfunction at any given moment. Another little check there. We need oh, to get some... Thick. I won't give you too much. Just the tip? Right, do, just it. one little drop. It'll be all right. Right, right. cheers. OK, nobody think about weeping anal glands. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Fraser thinks he's so well-travelled and knows everything about food. I think I'm going to have to show him how it's done. Oh, oh. Yeah, this sexy music's great and everything, but I actually really want to know what that sounds like. Kill the track. Yeah, thought as much. It's gross. Actually, I'm getting into it. Don't mind it. There we go. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Yeah. That's such that. a sexual thing to say. Oh, yeah, we are eating oysters. What the hell? Well, I wouldn't say eating. You're choking on them and she's f***ing them off. Anyway, mm. I wanted to know how you felt the date has gone. Mm. Well, on the plus side, he stole a kiss and checked out your On the other hand, he just nearly died and keeps picturing your dog's weeping anus. So, mixed. Don't be smart. <laughs> be sincere. I feel like it's gone really well. I think the second date's been better than the first one. I've had a good time. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Good. I'm full. Good. Of wine and your <laughs> chat. Because <laughs> I was so surprised after the first date how well I got on with you. I thought, is that just because I just love being her? Like, do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, she's just a really good person to be around. Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I always think you have to have a. It sounds bad saying it, but like a. You have to have sexual chemistry with someone. No, that kind of is a given. You it's not business have... and bad, that's what it is. And I think because I was trying so hard not to be flirty and whatever else, I thought, we have I now made it like a friend thing? Mm hmm Friend zone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. Um, which is why I wanted to see you again. To see if it was more? Yeah. And is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Check me. <laughs> Until you did that. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye, check. <laughs> this is a great date. There's definitely chemistry there. So it's bothering me I've got another date after. So I've got to be straight with her. That's it, Pete. There might be hope for the old salty dog yet. What have you been up to since I was last year? So we went on blind dates. Nice. So effectively like well, actually, this. No, I'm going to take her back. Not nice. Basically, there was a curtain. <laughs> so we had to date people who we couldn't see. Half an hour, you can't really get to know someone. No. Because you kind of do the, 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 the sort of small talky crap. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But um, she seemed like a nice girl, so she, I am going on a date with her. Oh, how's that gone down? She's not giving anything away. Um, but she, she's, she's coming here. Here. There it is. After I, after I see you, I'm going to be seeing her. Wow. Wow. It is a bit of an awkward one because obviously I, you know, the agents have put me on a, another date in the same day, mm -hmm. in the same restaurant at the same table. So I, I apologise that that because it's not a particularly gentlemanly thing to do. But I'm going to blame Anna and Paul. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's their thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you so much for coming. 
Thanks for having me. Um, get on safe. Will do. Bye.